We went to Robert Clark's neighborhood in Denison to get reaction to his arrest in Arizona. A few days ago, his stepfather made a plea for Clark to turn himself in, but no interest in talking with us today. Tell me what you do want to get across nope, at this point. Nothing. Nothing. You don't want to say anything? Nope. What do you think about him? No. Nope. Being... Just get. Just get. Just get. Just get. Clark, one of the two men accused of hatching a sinister plot to kidnap Doyle and Lillian Chumney from their Strasburg home. The couple was shot to death in Coshocton County. Their car set on fire. It just makes me a little eerie, you know. But neighbor, neighbor Ashley Hobart says the horrific crime sounds nothing like the Robert Clark she knows would do. He mowed our yard in the summertime. He shoveled our snow for us. He's a real nice guy. But others, like a woman who didn't want to be identified, are not completely surprised. He's always been in trouble all his life, ever since I'd known him, ever since he was a kid. It's beyond terrible what they did. At the senior center where the Chumneys ate lunch daily and loved to polka, there is tremendous sadness over the senseless killings. They had a lot of friends here. So, yeah, I think it's terrible what they did. The director of the center says the Chumney's son, Wesley, stopped by today to express relief that Clark was captured. The loss of those two people has been hard for all of us to accept, and we did not want to see any further law enforcement or other innocent people hurt in their captures.